everybody, my name is Miss Cat and I'm a teaching artist at Van Wazel. Today we're going to explore the art alphabet. You can do this project by yourself or with your family. So drawings and paintings are made up of lots of lines and different shapes. This is a painting I made of an ice cream sundae. You can tell that right away. But if you look closely at the different shapes that created that, you'll see that there's some straight lines and curved lines and things like that. I'm sure you can find even more lines by looking closely at it. So for today's project, we're gonna learn how to use all these different shapes and put them together into a drawing. Before we get started though, I wanna show you the art supplies. You can use a plain white piece of paper. You could use lined paper. You can use pencils, pens, crayons, or a simple black Sharpie marker. This is my favorite, what I really like to work for. So if you wanna pause the uh, video right now and go get your supplies, that's fine. And also keep in mind, as we're doing the project together, you can always pause the video and take a little extra time in a section or you could rewind it. Okay, so let's get started. Your paper can be this way or this way in front of you. It doesn't matter. And I'm gonna draw a simple line and if it wobbles, it's fine. So there's one line like that. And I'm gonna bring another line across this way. And then I'm gonna divide a section like that. Okay, so we're gonna start, you can pick any section to work in. And the first section we're gonna work on will be circles. I'm gonna start the circles right here. And just stay in your one square box and Practice drawing circles. Look, you can even draw squash circles, little teeny ones, as you can see. You can put circles inside of circles. There's a big one. I'm gonna draw some little tiny ones like that. Now, you can keep going with those and really fill it in, but what I wanna do is move on. So the next section we're gonna do, and you can pick any section you want, will be dots. Now how are dots different from circles? They're filled in. So you just take and do circles again, and you can do a squash circle as well, and fill it in. Dots take a little bit longer to do, but you can do little teeny dots like that, larger ones. They can go all around each other, like that. So as you can see, watch this. I'm gonna do a, another squash dot going that way, this way. So I have it filled in enough. I'm gonna do some really tiny ones just to finish it up. And then we'll start on our next section of the art alphabet. In the next section, it's my favorite, it's curve lines. And you'll notice when you draw curve lines that your hand kind of relaxes. So I'm gonna use it in this section and watch. See how I'm doing that? There aren't any sharp edges. You can even make something that looks like a snail shell. Or it could look like a roller coaster going round and round. And you can make some of those curved lines thicker. Any of the lines we draw can be thick or thin. And if I keep drawing and drawing and drawing, it can look like a big bowl of spaghetti. So there. Now on our fourth section of our art alphabet, we're gonna do angle lines. So I always think of an angle line. That's an angle line, it's a check mark, right? But then you can do like this. That could be shark's teeth, or you could put a big bolt of lightning across the sky and if you watch I'm going to thicken those lines and see how I don't worry about if everything if you crisscross over that makes it even more interesting the lines so you could even make a rectangle here's one and here's more and I can make little ones that look like a zipper almost so there's one section left of the art alphabet what do you think goes in there straight lines that's right now straight lines can crisscross but they never connect so i like to do a bunch of lines this way 
this way and get them really close together. And it starts to look almost like fabric. Again, you can do thicker thin lines, just like this. See how I'm filling that in? Lines this way, coming down, across, all directions, little teeny lines filling it up. Look at that. We've completed our art alphabet already. So show it to your family, look at each other's artwork. And what's really interesting, even though all of us have the same directions, our artwork looks completely different. If you notice mine, it's not gonna look exactly like yours. It's unique, just like you are. So now we're gonna put the art alphabet into action. So we're going to draw and you're gonna follow and what's really fun is I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I'm sure you'll figure out really quickly. So on your paper, put a dot like that and then draw a circle around the dot. Do you know what we're drawing yet? Probably not, but watch this. A curve line and a curve line. You might have an idea now, but watch. Now I'm going to put an angle line. You've guessed it, haven't you? It's a fish. I'm going to put a gill in. How about putting some fun fish lips on it with curved lines? Now you can make the fins any way you want, all right? I like to make a fancy fin on top so I can add lots of things in. I'm going to put some straight lines in there, some curved lines, and I like to do fish scales. So see how quickly that came together? So we've taken the art alphabet and used all the parts to create something recognizable, the fish. If you want, you can finish it up by adding fun colors. You could draw more fish into your picture if you want. And I like to blend my colors. Watch that. Look how that does. Isn't that beautiful? And of course, I'm going to add some Fill the lips in like that. And I wanna add some yellow, bright yellow. So you could even go online or you could look in books and magazines at fish. And using the art alphabet, you could draw all different types. So there it is. Thank you for joining me today. Artfully yours, Miss Cat. You can take a picture of your artwork and post it on the Van Wezel Facebook page. School time at the Van Wezel. Hashtag artworks anywhere.